Well, unfortunately, you know what time it is, clearly. Although I'm sure you're excited. I'm not, because we're doing Maximum Conviction, another Seagal Turkist. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's going to be a former military specialist in this one. <laughs> you know, I bet he is. Or current. But I'm going to go former, because he's normally yeah. former. Yeah. Yeah. So I have good right news here. and bad news. The good news uh. is... It's not just Seagal in this. Stone Cold Steve Austin is in this. Oh! So it might be moderately entertaining from an actor point of view. He's fun. Yeah. The bad news is it's directed by Keani Waxman, I think is his name. Okay. He's done a bunch of the other Seagals we've watched. Oh, God. Very boring. The ones we loved? Uh-huh. Yeah. So... Uh, so... Good news is it's from 2012, so it's 10 years old. So maybe a little movement? Is it pre-goatee? I don't know if this is goateed Seagal or not. Ooh, so you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. The bad news is Steven Seagal is still in it, so. Yeah. Fortunately, we have some very strong beers. We do. To help us get through this turd. We have Trogue's Lollyhop. Double IPA. Double IPA sounds about right for this. Mosaic, Citra, and Azaka. Don't know what Azaka is, but... Hopefully, right. hopefully it's some sort of brain-erasing narcotic. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. Apparently I shook the shit out of this. It's very full. I like some trogues, so. Yeah. To Sifu. May he forever make movies. Oh. I thought it froze for a second. This is shot like those, we talk about like the 2002 movies with that weird editing. Mm -hmm. This was 10 years later. God. I do not miss this style of film at all. Michael Perry. Who is he from? uh, He's in a ton of shit. He was at Scares. Hmm. I was in an elevator with him. He was dressed up and I had a Ric Flair shirt on. (laughs) And he's like... Oh, is that uh, some... He said some actor's name, and I was like, you don't know who Ric Flair is? It's like, no, it's Ric Flair. And he went, oh. So the professional wrestler? He went, oh, okay. Like, he oh. just didn't give a shit. Oh, that. he was done with you. He had, he had a suit on. He was, like, all dressed up for scares. You oh, know? And I was like, was... But I was shocked. I was like, who doesn't know who Ric Flair is? I thought you two had, like, an epic, like, fight in the elevator. Only one of you He was in pretty away. good shape. He was <laughs> old, but he probably would have beat the brakes off me. <laughs> I feel like we've seen a lot of these shots over and over. Once drones came out, man, every goddamn movie has to have an overhead shot. They look spectacular. Dude, I would get a drone to shoot so bad it's good. Yeah, we would just, just, just see it. the you would see the top of our heads and nothing else. Maybe. Wow, the way you're eating that burrito, you should marry her. Why not? Nobody cooks that good, man. Yeah, but you have someone to go home to every night. What is this conversation? We're talking about the merits of marriage? Yes. An exciting life. It's a good way to get yourself killed. Well, seafood's probably in here because he was wrongfully... Did you just call him seafood? Seafood was <laughs> definitely in here. You say you think he was wrongfully convicted? Yeah, I don't think he's done any wrong. I'm assuming he was some kind of spec ops guy who disobeyed a direct order because they wanted him to kill someone. Or not save someone. What? And he did the noble thing. No. But then that got him thrown in prison. Dude, that sounds crazy. They've never made a movie about that. No. So far, this movie actually looks pretty good. Like, looks pretty good. Except for the editing at the beginning. Yeah, compared to a lot of what you watch, this has production value. (laughs) Yeah. No goatee. Just thought I'd mention that. That's a good sign. Yeah. That's a good sign. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. <laughs> Have we ever seen him laugh in a movie? I don't think we've ever seen him laugh at all. That was terrifying. You security contractors, you're all the same. You think you're hot shit ex-soldiers, big <laughs> heroes. So he's not in prison? No, he's uh, running the prison. That means signing them out would be your job, not mine. I would enjoy the process. That was non-mumbling dialogue. He's still trying to do his cool guy voice, but... It, he seemed to actually know his lines. And the other guy was able to, like, communicate with him. Where they... Huh. Is this an actual movie? Are we watching a real movie for once? There's a plot. 
That's a, like, what's happening? I mean, I'm sure it's still gonna suck, but is it gonna be like not Seagal levels of suck? Usually I'm the optimistic one. What, what's going on here? I, I just, that conversation, I was like, <laughs> Wait, I can follow what they're saying. Dude, clearly you've been eating everything, got you? <laughs> oh, they sent the little, little. Why would you go in there at all? <laughs> That's a humongous man. Wow. Oh, oh. Let's oh boy. Waddle, waddle in here and take care of it. That was that was a great waddle. That was a good waddle, yeah. Oh. That dude's huge. Can you imagine squaring up against that dude? No. Oh for uh, God's sake. He stopped all that momentum? Yeah. By slapping him. Okay. Mm, okay. I really do not like this fight scene. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is bad. The movie peaked five minutes ago, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm taking back everything I said. Oh, he took a step. Oh, he took a step. Do you see? He's he did that move. All right. Obligatory scene, so we know how badass he is. Right. Walking with an air of confidence, not seen this day and age. A man walks with an air of confidence. It's rarely seen in this day and age. <laughs> Yeah, if that guy is bull charging you, you get out of the way or you're going for a ride. Instead, he just... He's the juggernaut. <laughs> yes, the guy. <laughs> yes. Just get on with your job so I get the uh, out of here. I love Stone Cold. <laughs> He's like, shut the uh, up and get out of here. <laughs> is he going to pop two beers and chug them at the same time in this? That would be awesome. Do I do it with this? <laughs> yeah. What was it, eight something? Eight, eight point two. Yeah, let's chug two of these at once. Get in the truck, pull it out. We need to take a look. Pull it out! Stone Cold does not like him. Yeah, why is he being a dick? I mean... Uh, that guy. Where are we gonna put them? Unfortunately, Bob G. Seriously? So they have to bring the two... The two women that... That they transported, they put in Block D, but that's now... Gonna be contaminated with, with these... Diesel fumes. fumes. So... Now they're gonna put them in Block G. What about Block A, B, C... E, F. It's a good question. What's wrong with where they're at right now? Well, they're block D. See how dangerous it is? Yeah, that's true. The fumes are pretty rough. Yeah. Someone might cough eventually. Then the boiler room grabs the tools. Went ahead and shut the heat down and she blocked all those air. FYI. FYI. I can't do a good Stone Cold. No, you can't. I would, I'd like to see you try one more time, though. <laughs> do you think Stone Cold will give someone a stunner? <gasps> yes. That would be great. So this Keani, Ke however you say his name, Waxman yeah. guy, yeah. has done a lot of these movies with Seagal. Was he an employee of Steamroller or something? Like, I mean, we've is yeah. this maybe his fourth one we've seen? Uh, yeah, that's a good that's a good question. Like, does he have his own crew? Like, is this all the same yeah, people I, that that work for low or, low prices? Oh. He, uh, hi, <laughs> <laughs> or is he just good at dealing with Seagal? Is that was she the main character in the other movie we saw? I swear. This I was, was not looking. I'm starting to recognize locations in Bucharest from his movies. Well, we've seen Bobby Wiseau in two of them. <laughs> Asshole! Subconsciously, I meant to miss. Hey, everybody's your deal, so you know, have a look at that. I'll come down in a minute. I thought they said they were all kind of stuck at the prison yeah. for a while. He said neither one of us is leaving tonight, and then he promptly left. Anyway, I'll take care of it. I don't think either of us are going to make it out of here tonight. Yeah, he's like, well, I've got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recognizing people in the background yeah. who, who did things. I think this is like... So you think the bartender was the love interest? In one of the last ones we did. So yeah. With the, had the little race? kid? No, that, that wasn't Born, born to Race. Born to Race, so. I, I can't remember. I can't remember what this movie's called. Maximum maybe it, maybe it was born to raise hell. It's the one set in Eastern Europe. Hmm. Where he was an ex yeah. spec ops. Yeah, he was at one point in the military. Right. No, the uh a good man. It, that was a good man. It was a good man, you're right. Cause now I will snatch every mother birthday. What was born to raise hell then? That's the one where he's the cop in Europe. <laughs> Michael Perry. He's the bad guy then. Yeah, for sure. 
I kind of like this, the infiltration of the prison. Like, this is a cool plot. There's a plot. Yeah. I understand what's happening, which is sadly a massive upswing for most of the shit we watch. This is almost watchable. So is Stone Cold going to be fighting from the inside and Seagal's going to be fighting from the outside? I hope Seagal just stays in the restaurant the rest of the movie. <laughs> just sits in the bar. Yeah, we just see what he orders. Looks at cleavage. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait for these guys to die. They're, they're, they're so dead. Then, then neither of them are going to get married. <laughs> and have someone to go home to. Headquarters. D486, anybody. D486. That's cool. What's your status? What's your status? Dude, he's so crazy. He has to conserve his energy for the fights. Like you're in a movie, enunciate for Christ, Christ's sake? For Christ's sake? Yeah. Got it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I worked right through it. That's a good. Solved the problem. I saw, I saw the process. Yeah, man. Just smell the smoke. smoke. Yeah, yeah. Coming out of my ears. <laughs> That was the best choppy fight we've seen so far in this movie. Yeah. By that guy and that guy. Well, then they have to cut around Seagal's double, so. <laughs> hmm. Was that the good guy? That I died? think so. This is Terrence, sir. I don't know about Manning, but I just heard an explosion. He has been sitting since the beginning when he walked out and had that conversation, and I was kind of impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been sitting in a car or in a bar ever since. I can tell you, they're in a... Uh... Right Where are they, goddammit? This was us in the elevator. Who the uh, is on your shirt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fingerprint scanner on the board. Gives me access to all the sensitive systems in an emergency. They might take your finger, dude. Yeah. I don't know that I decided. Oh, there we go. Taking his arm. This finger? Yeah, oh. Oh! Yeah. He broke his neck from the front. Garbage man. That one is cheesy, but I don't remember it being like awful. Was Richard it, Pryor's in it? Is that the one where he fights the robot? The, the computer, the at, computer the end. at the end? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you miss anything in this movie? God, no. That's the problem. It's just competent enough to not hold my interest. <laughs> yeah. Oh! He's that's, fighting! That's twice he did the double slap in someone's mm -hmm. face. Boy, he's slapping the shit out of people in this. Mm. Okay. That was very dark. That was terrible. Cut yeah. up. That was, that was really terrible. What was the shooting? I have no idea what Did he kill the two guards when they were unconscious? <laughs> Seagal executed them. <laughs> There's two guards, two shots. Terminated. Got some guy coming in through. Yeah, he did. I think I he think, shot him. I think he killed him. I think he killed two <laughs> unconscious men. From here on, we know we have Stone Cold and Steven Seagal are going to one by one just beat up all of the bad yeah. guys. Yep. In fight scenes where we can't really see what's happening. Yeah. Looks like some good guy reinforcements showed up. This is going to be an eight minute video. There's just nothing to put in. We've had no reaction to anything of interest. No. Because nothing of interest has happened. This is just... Actually, like, decent-looking locations. You're right. It's not like we can't laugh at the sets. I, you told me this is a prison? It looks like an old decommissioned sure, industrial yeah. prison. Does he not have eyebrows? Doesn't have eyebrows. I don't think he has eyebrows. What the oh. f***? Did he always have eyebrows? I, I don't know. Did he always have, that didn't make any sense. Did he ever have eyebrows is what I meant to say. 8.2? Oh, he's in this movie. Oh, yes. Here we go. All Is right. That, wait, Seagal uh, tacked up? Yes. These are always my favorite scenes. <sighs> when he... he can, he's, he's handling his weapon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot they were in the movie, this, too. They're the whole central reason for the bullshit that's going on. They haven't been in it since the first five minutes. Hey, listen to me. Do what I say. I'll kill them before they kill you. Why is he the only one in those kind of... That kind of camo? Um... We cool? All right, come on over my left and stand my right. What's the tactical benefit of the backwards baseball cap? Um, maybe he didn't feel like putting his rug on that day? It should also monitors the electrical impulses of your heart. If you get killed, it wipes the intel. If you get killed, it wipes the intel. So the chip in there that only works if he's alive. 
And she doesn't know that, but he does? Yes. <laughs> when did... When did the inmates get guns? Oh! Well, yeah, and what's the second chick's deal? Well, now we know she's in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you see that Superman punch? Yeah. Would have been awesome if it landed. At least this is the era where Seagull was doing things in his movies. Kind of. I mean... Oh, he threw a kick! Yeah. It was about knee-high, but he threw a kick. Uh -huh. Hey. Have you watched this video going around with him? Oh, yeah. Is oh! that Rick Alin? Yeah! Oh! Does that hurt? You <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's been a long time since he did that in a movie. That was great. Because in his 80s movies, he would do that shit all the time. Yeah, he would just snap, snap limbs. limbs and everything. Yeah. Have you seen this video going around where a guy spent 24 hours on them? Part one of two. Yeah, I, saw the I only part. saw the first one so far. It's makes him look pretty good. It's embarrassing. It makes him look like when when he's like, I already killed you. <laughs> like oh for <laughs> sake. And from here, I might do this. Oh. I've already killed you, but I have this now. It's like you tried to take me down, brainstem, killed you. It's like, oh my god. Or ripping your eyes out, or ripping right. your throat out, or severing your brainstem when you go down there. Shut up. And then he keeps sitting down, and there's the fan on the mm. table. On. <laughs> One time he's holding it. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. He really believes, like, but they're in Dubai. It's hot there. <laughs> the characters he plays in this, that's who he thinks he is. Like, he believes this shit. There's no acting involved. No, he's just playing himself in these movies. It was interesting. He started saying, they asked him, like, why are you doing this? Why are you talking to us? He's like, well, he's thinking about his legacy. I'm like, well, <laughs> the, <laughs> the trail of sexual harassment suits and... We will sever the brain stem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoever how, you are. How come he got a special slow-mo death? Oh, no. Oh. She was gonna stay late and make them some chow. Damn. Well, not, they're just gonna be hungry all night. That was a weird shot. Mm. That almost looked sexual. Yeah. Oh, yes. Like the way she looked at her was. Oh, yes. It's not that kind of movie. <sighs> Unfortunately, because that would be entertaining. Where? People had warned me on Patreon, they said it's almost watchable. That's, that's the problem. That's the isn't problem. It? That's the problem. Just ignore the 265 pound man hiding right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Was, I mean, just interesting effect how they were. I wonder if the blanks were really uh, moving the cans. Oh! Okay, now, now we're talking. Oh! Yes! Oh! Yes! Nice. All right. Something interesting happened in the movie. Oh, God. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, geez. Dude, roll. Roll. Piss on him or something. Oh! Piss on him. Is he gonna hit the end off? Oh yes. He's All right. Gonna, he's gonna give him some propane. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was stupid, and I loved it. This is what I've been waiting for. They saved all their good ideas <laughs> for, for, for the kitchen scene. Oh, good thing she was boiling water. Excellent. What? Wow, he took that well. Yeah. It'd be a blubbering mess on the floor. That. That would that would make me cry. <laughs> There's no running no after that. that. <laughs> How can he even see? Are they going to make out or not? I don't think so, dude. <sighs> I don't think we're going to get a strip club scene in this. I... Huh? What the? Oh! Yeah, bitch. Well, well I mean, why did easy. you stop paying attention to her? Yeah. What else do you have to do? She's going to beat him up. <laughs> the answer is yes. All right. Successfully. That was really easy. That's a big dude. Yeah, that's a big man and a very small woman. That's that, not... Who's been, he's been in prison a while, too. This is not going well. I hope we don't see rape boobs. Nah, nah. I don't, this is not a rape boob movie. Seagal's going to get his, uh, oh, yeah, his round two. Where's Seagal? That's been a while. He's in the movie. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope oh. you're wrong. I hope you're wrong. I think the bad woman is going to catch up and kill the... The giant guy to save her from being raped. Uh -huh. He dodged it? Yeah. He looks like a nimble guy. 
Ooh. That would do something. See, all right. Convenient. I, this, you know, we complain about fight scenes. Like, this makes sense, like, well, except for the fact that now she's beating the brakes yeah, off. Yeah, she's beating But him. she's got to use, like, the environment. She's got to be clever because she's not going to beat him with a piece of I like of how wood. that was a shot of her ass. Yeah, I like it, too. She's waking up. Here's your and ass. And it's just her ass. Yeah. Oh, your ass is moving. You're awake. Oh, yeah. I was going to kill you and cut the chip out. But now I know I can't do that. Skull opening his mouth saved her life. Yeah. By telling her something she should have already known. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Michael Perry's in this. Why are they, they keeping him alive? I don't know. They've been standing in this office. That's the control room. I'm sorry, the control room for yeah. three quarters of the movie. Oh! He's back! See? Dude, what's his screen time on Food! This? 15 minutes? Uh. 20? Not enough for laughs. Time to lock it up. It's my game now. Oh, it's my game now. Wait, he's locking he, it did, up. he did the voiceover. That was not someone else's voice doing ADR. That was an ADR, though. Get to the extraction point. Now, this movie almost over. Dude, this... Oh, God. Oh, my God, you ruined the show. I smacked the shit out of my microphone. Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> Was it 8.2? <laughs> are those barrels stopping bullets? Oh, yeah, are they full of water? Oh, it's not even going through the plastic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're plastic barrels. I'm sure people will correct me. It's like, well, actually, they, they the won't bullets, because the bullets are frangible and they'll break up and upon uh, hitting a surface, they'll tumble and they'll disintegrate within 37 seven centimeters. And uh, Wow, dude, you predicted those comments yeah. perfectly. Yeah, let's go. Do it. Some kind of wrestling move, right? Yeah. Suplex, so right. stunner, something. It's got to be a Stone Cold Stunner. Come on, just one wrestling move. Something. Do it. Something. Do it. DDT. What? No, Anything. You can't. It's it's Stone Cold. Oh! oh did, I I will accept it. Did he just impale him on a dip bar? Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're like an hour and 20 minutes in, and I'm like, yes! <laughs> so All you... the interesting moments have been Stone Cold. The fight in the kitchen was pretty good, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then the fight in the gym was pretty good. Let's mumble some lines and get out of here. Oh yeah, Michael Perry's in great shape. Yeah, better than seafood. Um, I like how he's shouldering his weapon. Jesus Christ. I'm sure it's some special force what is like, listen. <sighs> why do people have trouble, like, pulling the trigger in these yeah. movies? She's pointing at her. Why didn't you just shoot her? I don't know where anyone is. Spatially, I can't even tell who are the good guys and the bad guys right now. That's he's the bad, a bad guy. guy because he he's the first guy who's from in the disguise. control room, right? Yeah. Do we just get a replay of that move? It looks like a double effect? take. So is this guy an actual martial artist? So he looks like he's got some moves. Is he either a stuntman or a martial artist? Goddamn, which one of you mother uh -uh. kill my future ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> Yes! That was perfect. He had to have ad-libbed that. That's ah, too clever. That's too good for this it's movie. It's too good. They should have just rolled credits after that. Yeah. I don't even care if this guy's That should have been the end of the movie. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. dude. He's... You're right. He's jacked. He's jacked. He's a good actor, though. Even in this piece of shit movie. Yep. Oh. oh! Oh! Get it, Michael! I don't think he knows martial arts. No! <laughs> oh. Oh, that was cool. He's not gonna t even take a hit, is he? Mm, wrist locks. No, he never takes a hit in these. So Ming Not Wen survived? Ming <laughs> That was well done. That was well done. Oh my god, I hit it again! <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not even uh, drunk. Like, uh, what the... how, how, how much of the lollipop, 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 lollipop have you had? Was maximum conviction so bad it's good? At the end of our six minute video. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone can understand that this was lacking in entertainment and is not so bad as good. No, the problem is it's almost watchable. That that is the sin. It's like was a IMDb four point eight. It's it's that's about right. It's like meh. It's right down the middle. Nothing really. Nothing crazy. Happens. Nothing super bad. Nothing you're gonna, super good. You're gonna see all the best parts in our review. I'm sure of it. Is this the best, not not on the So Bad It's Good scale, but an actual movie scale, the best Seagal we've watched on the channel? I mean, what do you mean by best? Like the best movie. It wasn't entertaining, but it was the production value was the best. Best made. How about best made? Best made. Yeah. The script was probably the most coherent. We could follow it. It uh, made sense. I mean, yeah, and that but that didn't that does not make a bad movie. No, it's it's this is boring. It's, That's the problem. It's boring. It's boring, but I guess like that barely passable. It's like you graduate with that D minus. Yeah. And the you, acting's not bad. Michael Perry mm -hmm. is good. Stone Cold's pretty good. Yep. Stone Cold was better than Seagal, I thought. Yeah, everybody's better than Seagal, of course. Well, damn. Is it better or worse than Twilight? Worse. Mm -hmm. But it's not saying much. Twilight's a perfect movie. You've threatened me that we're going to watch it on this show. I'm just waiting until I don't really remember any of it. Okay. So we're going to watch the whole series. How many movies is that? Four. <laughs> and they're long. 